What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. How you been? Hope you've been good. Yeah, real good. So this is a major update to a program called Cooler Control. If you don't know what that is, I have a previous video about it, but I'm going to run through it here today. Now, the major updates are here as follows. Uh, added AAMD GPU RDNA 3 fan control, which is absolutely huge. They switched from NVIDIA SMI to NVIDIA ML, which actually provided a performance boost because before NVIDIA SMI would pretty much be pinged every second, which would cause performance issues. So that's fixed. That is a huge, huge fix. Now they have proper AMD device names for DRM drivers, which is also pretty big. So it should show your proper driver name now. And there's PCI ID lookup for hardware monitor devices. All right, so various testing scripts for testers, options to disable duplicate uh, liquid CTL and hardware monitor device filters and vendor ID builds. And there's uh, there's like a ton of other stuff. They even fixed a Wayland issue on KDE. KDE Wayland's got so many issues. And uh, issue with GPU frequency chart colors not uh, presetting and so on and so forth. And honestly, this is a big update. Whether you want to believe it or not, this is a big update. And look, I got comments before in the last video, basically Windows users coming in laughing, being like, oh, congratulations, Linux. You finally got uh, fan control. What they don't understand is that for a long time, okay, uh, we've had separate applications over the years that would handle separate firmwares of fan control. And we've never had one that actually fully integrated everything when we needed it to be integrated. And that's the big thing here. This is an all-in-one application for GPUs and system fans and seeing your voltages and more. It's like a hardware monitor all-in-one, which technically not even Windows has, which is the problem because you need certain applications to be able to do what everything does here on Windows. And I've been using Windows long enough to know, I don't use it anymore, that a program like this comes along once in a lifetime. And I'm hoping that it sticks around because it is extremely good. So, hey, Windows user, before you laugh, just remember that you still need separate applications to do everything that this one application does. Yeah, it sucks, but it's a part of life. And honestly, I wish this was ported to Windows. That would be great. So we've gone over the changes, and now I want to show you some visual stuff, okay? Now, if you take a look here, you'll notice that we are completely friggin... Oh, there we go. We were frozen for a second. It was weird. You'll notice that we have a lot more information for the NVIDIA side, including now that it sees both of my fans, which is a big upgrade for me personally. Now, the fact that my temperatures are lower, it's not because of the program. It's actually because of my power supply. I replaced it. I have a 12,051. And it's got that smart crap built into it. And honestly, uh, ever since switching out, kind of weird, but cleaner power and i'm loving every second of it and my pc is using less power too which is really nice and as you can see look at all the information right here honestly i should probably run uh lm sensors again now what i don't know is how to switch to uh between certain things like i want to have the ability to switch between hardware mon and other things but I don't know how to do that because it's not really in here, as you can see. Now you can add start up to, you can add, like, you can have it start up. I want it to start to stray into the tray. I want it to close to tray. Uh, the UI, you can scale it up or scale it down, honestly. Let's just uh, make it a little bit bigger because it looks better that way. Uh, system, light, high contrast, light and dark, time format. We're at 12 hours, not 24. So show hidden menu items, deal. Like, there's just so much things that this can do. This all-in-one application has made me love Linux a little bit more than I used to, and that's what's important. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video and everything like that. Uh, I will leave a link to this program in the description. You can grab it as a flat pack. Uh, I was kind of limited when I did that, but the flat pack seems to come with a different UI, and it's pretty strange. Now, you can also grab this on the AUR if you need to, and I believe there, yes, there is a corp, so a Fedora repo that you can grab this from too. So this should pretty much cover the big three or the big two. I don't really care about Ubuntu. Uh, 
but if you do you probably have a possibility of grabbing a deb and installing that as well anyway bye everybody